Hello everyone, my name is Rohan Podar and welcome to another NCUK tutorial video for IPSDB 1.0. Some of my viewers have requested a quick demonstration on building a project, so that's what we are going to do uh, today. We are going to see how you can download your PLC code and documentation. Then open the PLC code in Studio 5000, have a look. We will also open the FDS and have a look at that too. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the same project as last time. So let me quickly import it. To do that, I'm going to click on open, choose file, and it was tutorial number four. And then click upload. Okay, so I'm going to change the name to tutorial number seven and submit that so we know when we download it that it is the correct one right so i'll go to the items page and show you that okay this is the correct project that we created last time we created one pre-war sequence so now you to download you need to go on to downloads page you don't have access to this page unless you are subscribed okay so here you can see you have various downloads so template downloads you can download your global objects library for SE and ME and uh, you can download your softwares here so download L5X will give you your PLC code your SE alarms ME alarms and data log CSVs these are the import files that you can import into your HMI project and for documentation, you can generate your FDS, alarm schedule, IO schedule, etc. So today we are going to look at the PLC code and FDS. So to start with, I'm going to download P FDS. If you have a larger project, then it's going to take a bit longer to do that. But now it's already downloaded it. As you can see, it's got the... Okay, it's opened on my other screen here. Right, so as you can see, it says T07. So this is the uh, current project that we are working on. The first thing I'm going to do is going to enable edits, uh, control A, right click, and update fields. What that is going to do is update your table of contents, etc., your project details, the dates, uh, and all that good stuff. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go into my header, do the same thing, control A, right click and update. And that should update the project name and the dates, etc. Okay, so let's have a, I'm going to save that and then let's have a look at the document. Okay, so table of contents, purpose, hardware overview. Okay, so this is the hardware that we configured. Then again, it's put a marker here to say you need to insert your picture. If you don't want to insert any picture, you can just delete that particular section. It's up to you. IP schedule, it's documented the IPs for the associated devices. Then have a look at the project summary. This, this is just one line because I didn't really insert anything in that section. Uh, to fill that section up, you have to add documentation. Okay, so at the moment, I've just added just one line and that's why it just shows one line. So let's have a look at the sequence. Okay, so I only added the running phase. So you are it's documented only the running phase. If you want the uh, other phases documented, you just need to fill them up in the in your project and that should document everything for that phase. Okay. Then the next section in the software modules, you've got control modules and then followed by your equipment modules. So as you can see, it's documented um, everything. 
okay then is your root section i just added one root when i will complete the entire project i will have multiple roots here engineering set points i added only one set points but as you can see if i've got more set points in my application then i will have bigger table here and recipe i just have th three ingredients for now and just one uh, recipe uh, i can add up to 20 recipes so it will become a big table here io schedule i've just configured only one but as you can see it's populated the io schedule as spare because I haven't configured anything else in there. And finally, the HMI section. Okay. Right. So, HMI section, you need to manually update it. For instance, you could uh, potentially add your HMI screens here, uh, describe them, etc. But yes, that particular part, you will need to do it manually. I'm going to close that. Let's go back to downloads and I'm going to download the L5X and that should create my PLC code. Okay, so I'm just gonna open that up in my folder. Okay, and I've got my VM running already, ready. And so I'm going to import that l5x file okay i'm gonna move that download folder here so as you can see it's downloaded that just now okay right so i've got l5x there so i'm gonna open up my studio 5000 and import that Okay, so I'm gonna delete the one underscore and just going to say import. Okay, let's verify it. No errors. So that's a good sign. Okay, let's have a look at the hardware configuration. As you can see, when I hover over it, it gives me the correct IP address for my drive. It should give me correct IP address for the node and for the ethernet card as well. So let's have a look at the diagnostics. So it's populated the diagnostic code for all the cards that we added in our configuration. Okay, we configured one digital input. So if I go here, and as you can see, I'll zoom in, the digital input that I configured is populated here. I've got my drive inputs mapped correctly. Then look at all the control modules. It's populated all the control modules that we added. Recipe management system comes down as a control module. And my equipment module where I've got my duty standby controller and my route. Okay, and let's have a look at the sequences. So we populated only the running sequence. So I've got my code in the running sequence and it's got everything in there as expected. Okay, I did not configure any output, so that should be blank, but my drive outputs are configured automatically when you add the drive. Okay, so I added PID controller for the outlet pumps, which is PID to OP, and as you can see, it's configured all of that correctly. That's all for this tutorial video. In the next tutorial, we are going to do complete project with six sequences. 
generate PLC code and FTS build HMI and do the testing. So it is going to be a bit lengthy video, but hopefully you will enjoy it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.